The next type of RF resonance cyclic accelerators is called the microtron. This name comes from the fact that, as a rule, they operate under high frequency levels of dozens of gigahertz, which corresponds to a short wavelength. The operation principle of a microtron was proposed by a member of the USSR Academy of Sciences, Vladimir Wechsler, in his first article on the phase stability principle. In a nutshell, how a microtron works could be explained with a basic picture. There is a bending magnet, creating a homogeneous rotating field, with a resonator on its edge. An electron beam passing through the resonator gains a certain amount of energy. Then, along the circumference, it moves inside the magnetic field and makes a first revolution exactly during one RF field period. It enters the acceleration phase again and gains the same energy. It makes the second revolution during two RF field periods and enters the same phase again. The third revolution is made during three RF field periods and so on. The beam will make as many revolutions as will fit on the magnet circumference. The number of RF field periods that an electron beam undergoes within one revolution is called an acceleration ratio or harmonic number. That is why a microtron is an accelerator with a constant magnetic field, with a constant RF frequency and with an alternating acceleration ratio. Throughout the existence of microtrons, a lot of their variations have been developed. If one cuts a magnet in half, it will be a split microtron. Instead of an accelerating gap, a lineal accelerator may be used to get the beam back to the entrance of the same accelerator. The so-called polymorphic microtrons are geometrically very diverse. This picture shows an example of such a microtron, which is serially produced. It is called a rhodotron. This accelerator has an RF resonator at the center where there is no magnetic field. A beam passing through the resonator is rotated by the magnet and is steered to the resonator and the magnets, which are located along the circumference of the resonator. The beam trajectory forms something that resembles rose petals, which is exactly where the accelerator got its name from. Just like the cyclotron, a microtron may work in a continuous mode due to the fact that all its parameters are constant. Massively produced rhodotrons, which work in a continuous mode, for example, have a beam power of up to 700 kilowatts, which is quite serious. Such power is demanded in such technologies, for instance, as in the cleaning of industrial gases from contaminants wastewater treatment and the processing and sterilization of large quantities of various products. At our Institute for Nuclear Research, there is such an accelerator operating at the Fleurf Laboratory of Nuclear Reactions. It is the MT25 microtron, 25 meaning the energy value up to which it accelerates electrons. This picture shows the accelerator structure. It is a relatively small compact facility. At the Laboratory of Nuclear Reactions, it is used to produce short-lived radioactive isotopes.